Now, phagocytosis are done by white blood cells called phagocytes. And uh, there are two specific types of phagocytes that you need to know. One is called neutrophil and the other one is called macrophage. And there are slight differences in terms of their structure and their function. So neutrophils have a lobbed nucleus. So probably you will often see it drawn this way. They do definitely do non-specific immune response and actually they do phagocytosis in about 10 minutes or so. Whereas macrophages, they have a circular uh, nucleus and they are linked into the specific immune response, so they take a little bit longer. And going back to the original bit, uh, phagocytosis is basically phagocytes or white blood cells almost eating up or engulfing the pathogens in the process, so essentially killing them. So they would have a nucleus and also lots and lots of lysosomes, which helps them digest the pathogen that they have just engulfed. And you need to know about the process of it as well, so we'll illustrate that right now. So let's say in the beginning we have our macrophage uh, with a circular uh, nucleus and also lots and lots of lysosomes. And these lysosomes are basically, if you go back thinking your early on biology, so they are basically vesicles that contain uh, lysosomes, which are a bunch of different enzymes to digest biological molecules. So they contain things like protease, carbohydrates, lipases, and all that sort of stuff. The macrophage will have, in the very beginning, a receptor on the surface, like that, which is probably a glycoprotein. And this receptor will recognize uh, antigens on cell surface. Um, so antigen is another protein, another glycoprotein on all types of cells and they basically have we the body recognizes as either self antigen or foreign antigen and if it's a self antigen that means it's our own body cell then the macrophage or the white blood cell will leave it alone but if they recognize it as a foreign antigen like the ones on a pathogen then the macrophage will respond and they will kind of realize that they're under attack and then they will start kicking off their immune response. So let's say here we've got a pathogen and it recognizes that particular antigen there. So in the first step, uh, the macrophage has a receptor which recognizes the foreign antigen and then it will then proceed to chase after it and engulf it. Engulf is a technical term that you do need to know. It basically means wrapping around and eating it, but it's, it's definitely better to use the word engulf in exams. So eventually the cell membrane is going to enclose itself and we contain the pathogen inside and we call this the phagosome. Then after that, uh, as we mentioned earlier, there are lots of lysosomes around it. So therefore, the lysosome containing the enzyme will fuse with the phagosome and uh, releasing the lysosomes inside, so looking like this. We've got our lysosomes inside that are going in to digest um, the pathogen there. So we call this entire structure the phagolysosome. And then the enzymes digest it, uh, but, and that's when the neutrophil stops working and that's it. So they probably will then go off to engulf more pathogens. But for the macrophages, we go on to a next further step. They will digest everything of the pathogen except for the antigens on the surface. So we, they will have the MHC, major histocompatibility complex, which is bound to the antigens on the, from the pathogen. And they, these antigens will then get recognized by other white blood cells. And it's basically sending a cascade down to alert all the other white blood cells that we are under attack. And we need to recognize this specific uh, pathogen. So, and so this entire cell, this macrophage, has now become what we called an APC, antigen presenting cell. And that's pretty much it for the process. Macrophage with lysosome uh, recognizes a foreign antigen and they engulf it to form the phagosome and then they fuse with the lysosomes becoming a phagolysosome then the macrophages will digest everything except for the antigen and pre uh, binds them with the uh, MHC and put them onto the cell plasma surface and turning the macrophage into an antigen presenting cell to alert other white blood cells of the attack. In this particular process as well, they can release some chemicals uh, that are useful. So for example, cytokines, which is used for uh, cell signaling to alert other cells as well. And they also got something called obstinance, uh, which goes off to tag pathogens uh, to increase their recognition. 
Cytokines can also uh, in reset the hypothalamus in the brain to uh, cause a fever, which basically enhances our immune system and also inhibit uh, pathogen reproduction. And there you have it.